Hey guys, uh, Jordan here doing another review today. Um, today we're going to be reviewing Sabre Blades um, and the differences um, in the Sabre Blades. Um, in case anybody is wondering the difference between a mid-grade blade, a heavy-grade dueling blade, a master replica blade, and a thin neck blade, Sabre Forge thin neck blade, because there is a difference. Um, first blade, Master Replica, Yoda. Uh, yeah, don't, don't duel with this, okay? It is great for a wall hanger. Cute little toy, okay? Do not duel with this. Uh, my three-year-old whacked, uh, this blade up against his brother's V3, Saber Forge blade, and that's what happened. Uh, came right off. Um, these are not meant for dueling. Uh, they're they're okay to look at. Um, they're not that bright. They're not evenly lit. Um, even with a conversion, if you go back with the same blade, still not that bright. So Master Replica blade, toy. Mid grade blade. Uh, Decent blade, lightweight, uh, good for light-handed dueling, um, nothing crazy, um, pretty good. Uh, this has got the clear, uh, somewhat translucent type of filling in it. Um, uh, it's more clear than the V3 uh, or V4 Saber Forge blades that's got the translucent film in there. Um, only problem I have with these blades is, look at that. Well, that's what you have to do to keep the tip from flying off. You have to coat that puppy in so much bloody tape because you hit that tip just right, and not even just right, you hit the blade, the tip's coming off. Guaranteed coming off, okay? So, yeah, there's, I mean, there's so much tape on here, there's just junk stuck to it. I mean, and then when you light it up, it looks terrible. I mean, it looks like it's been dragged on the concrete. No, it hasn't. It's just been dueled with. And yes, this is an older blade. But still, you shouldn't have to use that much tape to hold a tip on. Okay? Uh, I mean, other than that, when it's lit, it's nice looking. It's not bad. The light goes through the blade nicely. Uh, the blade stays in the socket nicely. It is a light blade. Real easy to swing around. I mean, super light. You could swing this thing all day long, your wrist will never get tired. So, super light blade, that is the pros. Uh, not very durable. Con, kind of a big one if you're like me and you like to do full contact dueling. Um, you know, this wouldn't make it a day in somebody who dueled every day. Uh, this might make it a couple hours. So, this is an okay blade. Okay? Decent. It does light up nicely. Um, I'll do another review where I'll show light passing through them, but right now I just want to talk about durability. They're glued in with hot glue. Um, uh, yeah, and even then you can see where the film is breaking loose because it just can't take the impact. Okay, so that is the mid-grade blades. So that's that, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. V3 blade. Saber Forge. Translucent, thick as can be, uh, meant for 100% full speed dueling, bullet tip. Um, this is not the threaded tip. This is just the, I guess, glued in tip. Um, never have had a problem with the tip flying off of this one. I. The only reason I can say I've never had an issue with the tips flying off of the Saber Forge blades is because they are extremely thick walled blades. They are meant to take on a truck. They're not meant to be lightly swung about with ribbon attached to them and to be flourished. They're meant to be bashed up against each other and they're meant to take a licking and keep on ticking. Um, they do not scuff. Um, they don't dent. They don't crack. V3 uh, blades, awesome dueling blade. Uh, Heavy. They are heavy. Um, I had to go to a 32 inch. 
the 37s and the V3 blades, they're heavy. They're, and your wrist is sore after a couple shots. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm a pretty tough guy. So I've been dueling for years um, with long swords, fencing, lightsabers, anything I can get my hands on, I can swing around, try to smack somebody with. I've used it. These are heavy. Um, but you can't kill them. And you can't scuff them up. So even if you want to use it and you still want it to be pretty, it'll always stay pretty because you can't scuff it up. If you get a little scratch or scuff on it, you just rub it off. I mean, very easy to maintain. Um, yeah, so V3, thick wall, thick wall blade, extremely thick, translucent uh, film with the hot glue on the inside to hold it in place. And they use a lot of glue. Whatever kind of glue this is, um, it doesn't feel like hot glue. It might be. It's harder. But um, there's a lot in there. It ain't going nowhere. It's not going to pop loose. So good blade. Great for dueling. Um, beautiful light. You know, it, it just shoots the light through gorgeous straight to the tip. You can see on some of my other videos how well it, it the light goes through these things. So V3, great dueling blade. Beautiful, well-lit blade. V3 blade. This is a V4 threaded tip, translucent, heavy grade dueling blade. This is also a thin neck saber blade. The difference in the thin neck blade and the regular blade is, I'm going to do my best to show you. There is the regular blade tip, or blade end right there. You can see where this, the film is about a half inch to a quarter inch from the bottom of the blade, and the glue is all up in there, okay? This will not go on a thin neck saber. This is a thin neck blade. You can see where the film is about an inch below the end of the saber, or be the, uh, sorry, below the end of the saber blade. And there's no glue to get in the way. There's a little bit of glue around the edge where they stop the film, but that's it. There's no real heavy, heavy glue pattern in there. It allows the blade to slip right over the uh, rod for uh, the thin neck savers. So you can see the difference. Okay, I'll hold them up to each other. The film is a lot deeper on the thin neck than on the regular saber. Now this is a V3 blade. The V4s are the same way for your regular blades. Same thing with the V3s and the V4 thin neck blades. You're going to have that deep set where the film is a lot deeper set. So that's how you can tell the difference. They're also, the V4s are also extremely thick wall blades. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get a better angle. There we go. Really thick. Take a beating. Uh, just as good as the V3s. I mean, the only real difference of the V3 and the V4 is the threaded tip. That puppy is threaded on there. It is not, I mean, it's probably glued in with the threads, but they screw that sucker in there. It's not coming out. Um, it's not coming out. Uh, I tried taking a pair of vice grips just to test it because um, I really want to see if they were threaded. You know, you see a lot of products out there and it's, well, we did this to it. Well, sure you did. And then it's very easily proven wrong. Um, but Sorry guys, uh, Philip Isherwood at Saber Fours, uh, he, he does what he says he's gonna do. Uh, he's gonna sell you a very affordable, well put together, just fantastic, close to detail Saber, and it's gonna be for an awesome price. Um, and a regular everyday Joe can go out and buy one. You don't have to be a gazillionaire or a crazy saber junkie who sits in front of his desk all day putting together a $12,000 saber to purchase one of his sabers. Don't get me wrong, $12,000 sabers are cool. Not taking anything away from those guys. I'm just saying saber forge sabers are extremely affordable and you get these cool blades that will never break or die. You cannot kill these blades. You can't. I'm going to do a video with me running over one with my truck and it doesn't dent it, it doesn't scratch it, it doesn't do anything, it just, you take the little scuff mark and you, you wipe it off. These blades are fantastic, they're awesome. So, meant for dueling. 
If you want something that's going to be on the wall and it's going to be as bright as the sun, go with a clear blade. But these, they, the light goes through them perfectly, no flaring, and they're super tough. You can duel with them. So great blades. V4, thick wall, Saber Forge, V4 blades. Really cool. Threaded tips. Um, as far as I know right now, they're the only ones with threaded tip. I could be wrong. Don't. Don't crucify me if I'm wrong. Uh, just let me know in the comments below and I'll correct myself. So yeah guys, this is the blades. Uh, you have V4 threaded tip. We have the V3. Not much different. You have the mid-grade with all the tape on it to hold the tip on. And we have the cute little Hasbro Master Replica blade. Not much to say there. So great for a wall hanger. That's about all I do with it. I wouldn't risk beating it around. So these are your blades, guys. And I know there's a whole bunch more, a uh, whole, a whole ton of other blades out there. Um, I've actually got an order in for a whole bunch of different company blades to give them a test and check them out, see how good they are. Um, but yeah. So as of now, though, top of the list. V4, Saber Forge, 100% dueling blade, great blade, great color, you can't kill them. Okay, so if you're looking for a solid dueling blade for dueling, Saber Forge is the way to go. Extremely affordable, well put together product, like always. Once again, I would just like to thank everybody at Saber Forge for what you're doing. And I can't wait to see what you guys have in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.